Here's the GH6 with a small rig cage, the Black Mamba cage, and the massive 10 to 25 f1.7 zoom lens. I took this out for a photo shoot for the first time, and it wasn't a paid gig, it was, a, it was just a test shoot I was doing. Luckily, thank goodness. And I wanted to talk to you about a menu setting in the GH6 that comes by default that you need to change right away if you're gonna shoot the GH6 uh, for stills. And that is the constant preview. So I, I did this photo shoot with this exact setup. I should have taken the cage out, but I didn't take out the cage. And I saw the, see on the bottom there, it's, it's turning red. It, it was just turning red, but I, I didn't really, yeah, I kind of ignored it because I didn't, at the time, know what that was. I should have. I wasn't thinking clearly. I was just shooting really fast, wasn't thinking. And normally when I shoot on other cameras, on the back of the LCD screen, what you see is what you get. But not with the GH6 on default. You have to go into the menu. You go onto this dial page right here. Oops, I touched it. That, that, that spin wheel go to the fourth option down and then you got to go to the constant preview and you got to turn that on so you turn that on and once you turn that on you also got to go to set and make sure and, and effect and then make sure it's set to the middle one oops the middle one right there to aperture and to shutter speed once you do that now you get a realistic look of exactly what you're getting what you see is what you get and it doesn't adjust so it's saying right here that i'm probably too overexposed so let me turn the my iris down to f4 yeah now it's saying it's properly exposed because the the red red isn't showing i should have i should have known this so anyways i did a whole photo shoot a test shoot for an hour and, uh, not for an hour. I was doing it. For, uh, I was doing it inside of a gym, so I had to shoot pretty fast. It was like maybe, maybe by the time I was shooting to when I wrapped, it was like 20 minutes, maybe, maybe 25 minutes. I was shooting really fast, so I wasn't looking and previewing what I was shooting. I just assumed because I've been at this for a while that I'm getting good stuff every time I, I, I snap a photo and it looks okay on the LCD screen when I'm doing the shots. Apparently. Everything was underexposed by six or seven stops. <laughs> I'm so, I was so embarrassed after I was done with the shoot and and looked at uh, looked at the computer. Um, actually, I think I still have what I shot on this SD card here. So let me go to a preview. I'll, I'll show you exactly what it looked like. Okay, here it goes. That I don't know if you can see that, but that's what I was shooting, folks. <laughs> that's what it looked like and yeah it was pretty bad um, I tried to recover some of the shots in Lightroom once you underexpose <laughs> by five stops on a micro four thirds sensor you just can't get that back maybe if I did it on a full frame sensor uh, one of the more modern Canon cameras or Sony. Maybe I could have gotten that back, retained the shadows, but it was gone. I Unusable. Um, wasted that entire shoot just because I didn't turn that constant preview on. Make sure that constant preview is on if you don't already have a lot of experience uh, doing photos like me. <sighs> just, so that was just a little rant. Make sure you turn that constant preview on. Um, I also wanted to show you how big this, this camera setup here here is compared to my normal photography setup which is the canon r5 with uh 24 to 70 this is the rf lens this one's like the two two twenty two hundred dollar lens and i thought this was a pretty hefty setup right here i i used to uh i have a grip sometimes but i took the grip off but this is pretty big however look at this gh6 the gh6 with this 10 to 25 it's just as big as my full frame. A micro four thirds is just as big and it weighs more than than my Canon R5. Uh, yeah, it's, I'm very surprised. 
What also makes this big is that I have this cage on here. But even when the cage off, this is just a big setup. Really big. Yeah. There you go. Lesson learned. 